What's up, my average med students? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be covering Hey Monk from the Zanke Step 2 deck. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to be notified of future posts. Happy studying. 1. A patient is going to begin treatment for HER2 plus invasive ductal carcinoma and therapy containing trastuzumab is planned. What should be done prior to starting the medication in this patient? Echocardiography baseline assessment of cardiac function as herceptin is cardiotoxic. 2. Which cause of megaloblastic anemia is associated with an elevated level of methylmalonic acid? Vitamin B12 deficiency megaloblastic anemia workup key points. If MCV greater than 100, get a PBS to test. For megaloblastic anemia, if PBS reveals megaloblastosis, check B12 or folate. If B12 or folate is equivocal, check methylmalonic acid. If MMA is normal, it is a folate deficiency. If MMS is elevated, it is a vitamin B12 deficiency. 3. What is the treatment for paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria? Eculizumab complement mediated hemolysis relies on factors C5 to C9, among others. Eculizumab targets a key component of this mechanism reducing the intravascular hemolysis. 4. Which form of acute leukemia is associated with PAS, CALA, and TDT proteins? Acute lymphoblastic leukemia AML equals myeloproxidase, which makes sense with AML being myeloid acute lymphoblastic leukemia CALA, PAS, plus TDT, which makes sense with acute lymphoblastic leukemia being lymphocytic. 5. A patient suspected of having lymphoma undergoes an excisional biopsy of a non-tender lymph node which reveals Reed Sternberg cells. What is the diagnosis? Hodgkin's lymphoma Reed Sternberg cells are large and are either multinucleated or have a bilobed nucleus with prominent eosinophilic inclusion like nucleoli thus resembling an owl's eye appearance. Reed Sternberg cells are CD30 and CD15 positive. The presence of these cells is necessary in the diagnosis of Hodgkin's lymphoma. The absence of Reed Sternberg cells has a very high negative predictive value. 6. A patient with lymphoma begins to develop cyclical fevers that come and go randomly. Over weeks, what type of lymphoma does he likely have? Hodgkin's these are Pell Epstein fevers. 7. A patient is diagnosed with multiple myeloma. What imaging should be performed? Full body x ray skeletal survey looking for lytic bone lesions. Pathological fractures the bone lesions in multiple myeloma are exclusively lytic. 8. Which plasma cell disorder is associated with hyperviscosity syndrome and peripheral neuropathy? Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. 9. What is the treatment for thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura? Plasma exchange, for example, either take out the antibodies and give back lots of a DAMTS-13 or give a DAMTS-13 only do. Not give platelets, 10, thyroid, pituitary, and adrenal. What is the effect of glucocorticoids on blood peripheral eosinophil levels? Decreased reduced useful in allergic conditions, such as asthma. 11. Barbiturates are contraindicated in patients with porphyrias. May cause acute intermittent porphyria. 12. For rapid reversal of warfarin, fresh frozen plasma FFP or prothrombin complex concentrates PCC should be administered. PCC contains factors 2, 7, 9, 10, C, and S. 14. What purine analog is used to treat hairy cell leukemia? Cladrubine. 15. Trastuzumab herceptin is a monoclonal antibody against her 2C herb 2. 16. What major adverse effect is associated with trastuzumab herceptin? Cardiomyopathy with decreased LVEF likely due to blockade of her 2 and myocytes. 17. What is the classical presentation for multiple myeloma? Crab, hypercalcemia, renal failure, anemia and bone pain osteolytic x-ray of affected sites. Labs for hypercalcemia. Urine analysis shows Benz Jones and SPEP first monoclonal spike. 18. Which IG is elevated in Waldenstrom's? IgM multiple myeloma more likely to show IgG, IgA, and light chains. 19. Heparin-induced thrombocytopenia causes decreased platelet counts with a hypercoagulable state. 20. What is the likely diagnosis in a patient that presents 5 days post-CABG with large purple-black patches surrounded by erythema in the periumbilical area by sites of heparin injection? Type 2 heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. 21. What is the gold standard confirmatory test for heparin-induced thrombocytopenia? Serotonin release assay should not wait for diagnostics. Stop heparin and switch to argotrobin or synthetic heparin first. 22. What is the likely diagnosis in a patient with a history of prostate cancer that presents with severe back pain, decreased lower extremity DTRs, and urinary retention? Epidural spinal cord compression. 23. What is the initial step in management for a patient with suspected epidural spinal cord compression? IV glucocorticoids. Glucocorticoids should be administered before MRI. 24. What is an appropriate prophylactic regimen to help prevent tumor lysis syndrome? IV fluids plus allopurinol or raspiracase. 25. What is the likely diagnosis in a patient with hemolytic anemia with an increased MCHC and negative Coombs test? 
Hereditary spherocytosis increased MCHC is classic for hereditary spherocytosis. 26. What hepatobiliary complication is associated with hereditary spherocytosis? Pigment gallstones plus or minus acute cholecystitis splenectomy can reduce risk of gallstones. 27. What is the likely diagnosis in a middle-aged patient with pancytopenia and splenomegaly without lymphadenopathy? And the peripheral smear below. Hairy cell leukemia diagnosis made with bone marrow biopsy, hepatomegaly and lymphadenopathy are rare. 28. What is the most appropriate pain management for a patient with advanced prostate cancer with bony metastases, status post orchitomy? Radiation therapy bisphosphonates are useful for controlling chronic pain, but radiation is more acute. Anti-androgen therapy is not needed in patients that have undergone orchitomy. 29. What is the likely diagnosis in a patient with anemia, painful osteolytic lesions, hypercalcemia, and recurrent infections? Multiple myeloma manifestations of multiple myeloma may be remembered with the mnemonic CRAB, hypercalcemia, renal complications, anemia, bonelytic lesions, multiple myeloma is osteolytic due to increased osteoclast activation leading to increased bone resorption causing hypercalcemia. Prostate cancer is osteoblastic sclerotic due to increased bone formation. Hypercalcemia is typically not a common finding in PC metastases. 30. What is the likely diagnosis in a young adult female with prolonged bleeding and ecchymosis and isolated thrombocytopenia on laboratory exam? Idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura ITP diagnosis of exclusion due to production of IgG autoantibodies against platelet membrane glycoproteins. 31. What is the likely diagnosis in an African-American male that presents with fever, jaundice, dark urine and the peripheral smear below? Glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase G6PD deficiency blood smear shows bite cells left and hinds bodies right. 32. What is the diagnostic test of choice for a patient with moderate high probability of DVT modified wells greater than 2? Compression ultrasonography may use D-dimer in patients with low pretest probability. Diagnosis of DVT should be confirmed before anticoagulation is started. 33. What is the likely diagnosis in an African-American male with a family history of a sickle cell disease that presents with nocturia? He is otherwise asymptomatic and urinalysis is normal. Hyposthenuria secondary to sickle cell trait for example inability of the kidney to concentrate urine due to RBC sickling in the vasa recta of the inner metal, which impairs countercurrent exchange and free water absorption also occurs with sickle cell disease. 34. What is the likely diagnosis in a patient with pruritus, especially after bathing, splenomegaly, headaches, and pancytosis on laboratory exam? Polycythemia vera almost always caused by a JAK2 mutation. 35. Polycythemia vera is characterized by low levels of erythropoietin. Helps differentiate polycythemia vera from secondary forms of polycythemia, for example, chronic hypoxia, EPO secreting tumors. 36. What is the likely diagnosis in an elderly patient with significant smoking history that presents with a hard, non-tender submandibular lymph node and occasional ear pain? Physical exam is otherwise unremarkable. Squamous cell carcinoma non-tender, solitary nodes in the head and neck in a patient with a significant smoking history are most likely to be SCC. 37. What is the most common cause of vitamin B12 deficiency? Pernicious anemia. 38. What is the likely diagnosis in a patient with recurrent hemarthrosis after mild trauma and a family history significant for a maternal uncle with a similar issue? Hemophilia or B-like factor 8 or 9 deficiency, respectively. 39. What is the mode of inheritance of hemophilia and B? X-linked recessive versus von Willebrand disease, which is autosomal dominant. 40. What cancer is associated with hereditary hemochromatosis? Hepatocellular carcinoma. 41. What is the likely diagnosis in a patient with night sweats, weight loss, and splenomegaly? Laboratory exam reveals leukocytosis with increased levels of basophils and myelocytes. Chronic myeloid leukemia high myelocyte count in basophilia favors diagnosis of CML greater than leukemoid reaction normal basophil levels and higher metamyelocyte count. 42. What is the likely diagnosis in a patient with abdominal pain, dark urine, and hepatic vein thrombosis with evidence of hemolytic anemia on laboratory exam? Paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria The combination of hemolytic anemia, cytopenias, and hypercoagulable state, thrombosis is suspicious for PNH reason for increased thrombosis. Venous thrombosis is caused by vasoconstriction and platelet aggregation as a result of free hemoglobin due to hemolysis scavenging serum nitric oxide of vasodilator. According to the prevalent hypothesis, activating the endothelial lining of blood vessels. 43. What hereditary disease renders patients prone to warfarin-induced skin necrosis? Hereditary protein C deficiency due to relative decrease of protein C anticoagulant relative to factors 2, 9, and 10 procoagulant initially, treatment involves immediate warfarin cessation and administration of protein C concentrate. Protein C normally has anticoagulant activity, so loss of protein C plus long half-life of procoagulant factors equals thrombosis. 
44. What type of anemia is characterized by the following laboratory values? MCV, normal serum iron, low ferritin. High anemia of chronic disease commonly occurs in the setting of chronic inflammation. Treating the underlying cause often improves the anemia. 45. What is the best initial test in a patient found to have a cervical lymph node with metastatic squamous cell carcinoma? Main endoscopy, esophagoscopy, bronchoscopy, laryngoscopy helps detect the primary tumor, which can then be biopsied to determine further management. 46. What is the likely diagnosis in an elderly patient with recurrent infections and with hepatosplenongoli, lymphadenopathy, and marked lymphocytosis on physical, laboratory exam? Chronic lymphocytic leukemia CLL recurrent infection due to hypogammaglobulinemia from monoclonality lymphocytosis plus anemia, thrombocytopenia, hepatosplenongoli, lymphadenopathy. 47. What underlying cause of DVT must be ruled out in an older patient with their first episode of DVT and no history of immobilization, surgery, or provocative medications? Malignancy, age-appropriate cancer screening colonoscopy, mammogram, and CXR. More detailed testing may be indicated depending on the patient's symptoms test for inherited causes if lesser than 45 years old, multiple sites, or family history. 48. What is the recommended management for a patient with a DVT in contraindications to anticoagulation like warfarin? IVC filter. IVC filters are also useful for patients with recurrent proximal DVT who have failed anticoagulation. 49. What is the most likely underlying etiology of DVT in a young, Caucasian patient that presents with leg swelling, positive D-dimer, and shortness of breath? Factor V-laden mutated factor V gene is unresponsive to activated. Protein C and anticoagulant, most commonly inherited hypercoagulable disorder in the Caucasian population mutated prothrombin is the second most common. 50. What is the next step in management for an older patient with a significant smoking history that presents with painful, pyritic red streaks on the arm, with a similar episode two weeks prior on the chest that self-resolved, and mild epigastric pain? Abdominal CT This patient has migratory superficial thrombophlebitis trousseau syndrome, which is associated with occult visceral malignancy pancreas, stomach, lung, prostate presence with unexplained superficial venous thrombosis at unusual sites. 51. Which form of megaloblastic anemia is associated with normal methylmalonic acid? Folate deficiency. 52. Rapid diagnosis. Chest x-ray shows eccentric lytic lesions in epiphysis. Think giant cell tumor soap bubble lesions. 53. What is the presentation of acute hemolytic transfusion reaction? Timing and symptoms present with fever, chills, flank pain, and hemoglobinuria within one hour usually due to clerical errors cause. Abomus matching intravascular hemolysis give B blood to a patient causing anti-BIGM antibodies to attack infused BRBC which in turn activates complement leading to killing the RBCs. 54. Rapid diagnosis. Bleeding with megakaryocytes elevated on bone marrow biopsy immune thrombocytopic purpura autoimmune production of IgG against platelet antigens antibody bound platelets consumed by spleen leading to thrombocytopenia. 55. Salvage therapy is defined as treatment for a disease when standard therapy fails. For example, radiation therapy for prostate-specific antigen recurrence after radical prostatectomy for prostate cancer. 56. Acute promyelocytic leukemia M3 is a form of acute leukemia that is most commonly associated with disseminated intravascular coagulation. Pancidopenia, coagulopathy prolonged PT, PTT with low fibrinogen disseminated intravascular coagulation. Our rods most common in M3 are thrombogenic. 57. Acute promyelocytic leukemia M3 is a form of acute leukemia that is most commonly associated with disseminated intravascular coagulation. Pancidopenia, coagulopathy prolonged PT, PTT with low fibrinogen disseminated intravascular coagulation Our rods most common in M3 are thrombogenic. 58. Chronic myeloid leukemia will have a decreased lap leukocyte alkaline phosphatase score. 60. Warfarin is a vitamin K antagonist that inhibits vitamin K-dependent coagulation factors 2, 7, 9, 10 in the coagulation cascade. Synthesis of biologically inactive form of proteins which is responsible for drugs anticoagulant effect. 61. Warfarin is a vitamin K antagonist that inhibits vitamin K-dependent coagulation factors 2, 7, 9, 10 in the coagulation cascade. Synthesis of biologically inactive form of proteins which is responsible for drugs anticoagulant effect. 62. Rapid diagnosis patient on heparin develops DVT about 5 days after infusion hit heparin induced thrombocytopenia low platelets, hypercoagulable decrease in platelet count by 50%. 63. What is the mechanism of action of heparin? Enhances antithrombin 3 to inactivate factors 2 and 10, causing anticoagulation monitoring and reversal. PTT intrinsic pathway, protamine sulfate. 64. Rapid diagnosis, patient taking sulfa drug develops anemia, low haptoglobin, high LDL with smear showing bite cells. G6PDSA is negative. 
G6 PD deficiency. Remember, G6 PD activity is normal during acute hemolytic episode as G6 PD deficient RBC are hemolyzed. 65. Rapid diagnosis epistaxis. Papules on the lips, increased hematocrine. Digital clubbing Osler Weber Rendu hereditary telangiectasia can produce arteriovenous malformations in the lungs causing right left shunt leading to hypoxemia, which in turn increases EPO and signs of hypoxemia. 66. Osler Weber Rendu hereditary telangiectasia is characterized by diffuse telangiectasias, recurrent epistaxis, and widespread AV malformations. AVMs can be present in mucous membranes, lips, skin, GI tract, liver, brain, lung hypoxemia. 67. Rapid diagnosis. 65-year-old with WBC count of 53,800 with lymphocytosis, fatigue, and a painless lymphadenopathy presence with pneumonia. What is the most likely underlying cause? Chronic lymphocytic leukemia smudge cells found on peripheral smear. Smudge cells found on peripheral smear lab artifact in which fragile nucleus is crushed by cover slip. Diagnosed with flow cytometry. 68. Rapid diagnosis. Fever and chills two hours after transfusion. Most likely diagnosis. Febrile non-hemolytic transfusion reaction. 69. How can you prevent febrile non-hemolytic transfusion reactions? Leuk reduction leukocytes in blood can release cytokine. FNHTR is commonly caused by cytokines that are generated and accumulate during storage of blood components. Leuk reduction filters out leukocytes also reduces risk of CMV transmission as CMV resides in leukocytes. 70. What is a useful way to tell iron deficiency anemia from minor thalassemia on blood count from MCV and RBC count? Mensur index of MCV, RBC 13 as I to this is useful if they are really vague with their question with limited information available. 71. What testicular cancer tumor marker, when elevated, will rule out a seminoma? AFP versus non-seminomatous germ cell tumors often have elevated AFP and beta-HCG. 72. What is immune thrombocytopenia? Thrombocytopenia mediated by gp ob 2 a antibodies can be primary or secondary removed by splenic macrophages causes of secondary ITP. HIV, Hep C, SLE labs. Isolated thrombocytopenia. All patients with presumed ITP should be tested for HIV and hepatitis C as platelet counts can be affected by treating the underlying disease. 73. What is the next best step in a patient with a hard mass in the left testicle and ultrasound evidence likely for a testicular tumor? Inguinal or chitomy do not cut the scrotum, may spread the disease. Likewise, do not perform needle biopsy. There is a high cure rate, even if there is metastasis. Kill first, investigate later, biopsy can be done with the orchitomy. FNAC and trans royal biopsy are contraindicated because of risk of spillage of cancer cells. 74. Which lung cancer is associated with hypercalcemia? PTHRP is associated with squamous cell carcinoma. 75. What is the most likely diagnosis in a patient with weight loss, cough, kidney stones, and constipation? Squamous cell carcinoma, PTHRP equals hypercalcemia. Patient will have low PTH. 76. Cancer anorexia cachexia can be treated with magistral acetate and or steroids, which increases appetite and suppresses inflammatory cytokines. Syndrome characterized by progressive wasting of skeletal muscle mass with or without loss of body fat that occurs in patients with advanced cancer. Weight loss, poor appetite, adipose tissue, muscle wasting, fatigue. 77. Rapid diagnosis, 55-year-old male with weight loss, night sweats, splenungly, leukocyte count of 110,000. Diagnosis and treatment, CML, imatinib TK inhibitor, also used to treat acute lymphoblastic leukemia with 922 translocations. 78. CML is distinguished from a leukemoid reaction benign neutrophilia by presence of increased basophil and or myelocytes. Presence of basophilia and less mature neutrophil precursors myelocytes than metamyelocytes favors diagnosis of CML over leukemoid reaction. 79. What is the main cause of death in patients with paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria? Thrombosis for example, hepatic, portal, or cerebral thrombosis, destroyed platelets release cytoplasmic contents into circulation, inducing thrombosis. 80. What are the histochemistry markers for acute lymphoblastic leukemia? TDT, CALA, pas amyl equals myeloproxidase. 81. What is the treatment of immune thrombocytopenia in children and adults? Children with only bruising plus petechiae skin manifestations. Observation regardless of platelet count children bleeding. IVIG or glucocorticoids adults. Lesser than 30,000 equals IVIG or glucocorticoids splenectomy if refractory. 82. The abnormal promyelocytes seen in acute promyelocytic leukemia contain numerous primary granules that increase risk for disseminated intravascular coagulation. Our rods can activate coagulation cascade. Disseminated intravascular coagulation is common presentation. 
83. Rapid diagnosis. Young male has dyspnea on exertion and large anterior mediastinal mass. Serum and FP and beta HCG is elevated. Non-seminomatous germ cell tumors. Produce both AFP and beta HCG. If AFP is elevated, it excludes seminoma. 84. What will the iron study show in iron deficiency anemia? Decreased ferritin storage, increased transferrin. TIBC decreased transferrin saturation iron or TIBC. TIBC equals capacity of blood to bind iron. Reflex transferrin. 85. Patients with previous DVT who are non-compliant with warfarin still have DVT and subtherapeutic INR. What do you do? Oral direct factor 10A inhibitors Rivarox 7. Apixaban have similar efficacy but do not require laboratory monitoring. Requires no overlap with heparin and acute onset of action. 86. Paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria is a RBC membrane defect characterized by hemolytic anemia, pancytopenia, and thrombosis. 87. Paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria is a RBC membrane defect characterized by hemolytic anemia, pancytopenia, and thrombosis. 88. What should you think of in a patient with hemolytic anemia, venous thrombosis, and pancytopenia? Paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. 89. Normally, activated protein C inactivates factor V in the clotting cascade, decreasing activation of thrombin. Thus, factor V mutation causes increased thrombotic events. 90. Normally, activated protein C inactivates factor V in the clotting cascade, decreasing activation of thrombin. Thus, factor V mutation causes increased thrombotic events. 91. What is the most likely diagnosis in a patient who presents with jingival bleeding, putechi, and mild thrombocytopenia? Peripheral blood smear shows giant platelets. bernard Solier syndrome adhesion defects similar to ITP, but you see giant platelets and bleeding out of proportion to the degree of thrombocytopenia. 92. What is the mechanism of thrombocytopenia and leukopenia in patients with systemic lupus erythematosus SLE? Immune-mediated destruction SLE patients can present with pancytopenia due to peripheral immune-mediated destruction of all three cell lines. 93. How long would it take a vegan to develop dietary vitamin B12 deficiency? 4 to 5 years but it takes 4 to 5 months for folate stores to diminish. 94. What is the most likely cause of this patient's anemia? A patient presents with shortness of breath and fatigue. The patient became a vegan 5 months ago. Exam shows conjunctival pallor, a shiny tongue, and vitiligo. Labs show hemoglobin 6.5 and an MCV 110. Patient's history is significant for hypothyroidism. What is the most likely cause of this patient's anemia? Pernicious anemia versus dietary B12 deficiency. It takes 4 to 5 years for a vegan to become B12 deficient versus 4 months for folate. Also, it is associated with other autoimmune diseases vitiligo. 95. What causes anemia and lymphoproliferative disorders leukemia, lymphoma? Bone marrow infiltration anemia has three categories. Decreased RBC production, increased RBC destruction, and blood loss. 96. A young Italian-American male comes in for a checkup and is found to have an MCV of 61. Labs show a normal RBC count. Peripheral blood smear is seen below. What is the next treatment for this patient? Reassurance beta thalassemia minor, usually no therapy required. Thalassemia common in Mediterranean descent. PBS is notable for target cells. Compared to iron deficiency anemia, thalassemia will have normal RDW and normal RBC count. 97. An elderly woman presents with fatigue, peripheral neuropathy, pale conjunctival, and a shiny tongue. MCV is 110 per fluid liter. Vitals and other labs are normal. Patient has no significant past medical history. What long-term complication is this patient at risk for? Gastric cancer patients have vitamin B12 deficiency, most likely secondary to pernicious anemia, the most leading cause of B12 deficiency. Pernicious anemia is associated with increased risk of gastric cancer. 99. Patient presence with transient vision loss and facial plethora. Labs show elevated HB, HCT, leukocytosis, and thrombocytosis. What is the next best step in management? Phlebotomy. 100. Exertional hemoglobinuria. March hemoglobinuria is a form of intravascular hemolysis commonly seen in runners. Exact pathogenesis is unknown, but thought to be due to mechanical destruction of RBCs in the feet during strenuous exercise think David Goggins. 102. A patient with DVT presence with a PT of 11 seconds and a PTT of 26 seconds. 5,000 IU of heparin is administered. Six hours later, the PTT is 30 seconds. What is the most likely explanation and why? Antithrombin-3 deficiency. Antithrombin-3 inhibits coagulation by inhibiting coagulation thrombin divided by 2 and 10 heparin potentiate antithrombin-3 in a deficiency. PTT remains normal because it requires antithrombin-3 to achieve its intended effect. Thus, patients with antithrombin-3 deficiency can tolerate higher doses of heparin-heparin resistance. 103. Patients with antithrombin-3 deficiency will require higher doses of heparin. Antithrombin-3 normally inhibits coagulation by inactivating clotting factors 2-thrombin and 10. 
Heparin increases binding of antithrombin 3 to 2 and 10 leading to anticoagulation. Loss of antithrombin 3 causes heparin resistance. PTT will remain normal in patients with antithrombin 3 deficiency who receive normal doses of heparin. 105. What is the most common cause of hypercalcemia in patients with Hodgkin's lymphoma? Ectopic vitamin D production. 106. EPO, plasma volume, RBC mass, O2 sat. What are the following findings in polycythemia vera? EPO, decreased plasma volume, normal RBC mass, increased O2 sat, normal EPO independent proliferation of myeloid cell lines, resulting in increased blood cell mass. Normal O2 sat helps to distinguish PV from types of secondary polycythemia caused by chronic hypoxia. 107. Thrombosis of the hepatic vein and or IVC is responsible for Bud Chiari syndrome, which occurs with hypercoagulable states such as polycythemia vera, thrombocytosis, and pregnancy. 109. What is the most likely diagnosis in a patient with RUQ pain, jaundice, and hepatomboli? Labs, HB 18.9, elevated althanast, increase indirect by Lurubin Bud Chiari syndrome secondary to hepatic vein thrombosis. The key here is recognizing the elevated HB secondary to polycythemia thrombosis of HV or IVC, typically associated with hypercoagulable states. Polycythemia, pregnancy, is responsible for Bud Chiari syndrome. Next best step is U, S with Doppler, which would show decreased flow in the hepatic veins. 110. A patient presence with fatigue. In splenomegaly, labs show a HB of 6.4 with a normal MCV. A peripheral blood smear shows dacrocytes. A JAK2 assay is positive. What is the diagnosis? Primary myelofibrosis. Dacrocytes means teardrop cells remember, the bone marrow is fibrosed and thus the RBC have to squeeze out. 112. What is the clinical presentation of an acute GVHD lesser than 100 days? What is the mechanism of graft versus host disease? Damage to the host as a result of inflammatory reaction induced by T-cells in the graft donor T-cells. 113. What is the underlying cause of microcytic anemia seen with lead poisoning? Disruption of heme synthesis. 114. What is the most likely diagnosis in a patient with headache for two months with a recent decline in his performance in school? He lives in the basement of his house. Labs show a HB 19.6. Cerebral hypoxia secondary to carbon monoxide co-binds to HB 240X stronger than O2 and prevents normal O2 delivery to cells, leading to a chronic hypoxic state, leading to stimulation of EPO production. Let's probably assume that it's winter and he has a messed up heating system in his basement. 115. What is the most appropriate screening test in a preconception patient with a family history of thalassemia? CBC if there is anemia with a reduced MCV, then further testing is required HB electrophoresis. 116. Bleeding time, PT, PTT, what are the following values? In disseminated intravascular coagulopathy disseminated intravascular coagulation. Bleeding time, increased PT, increased PTT, increased. 117. D-dimer, fibrinogen, what are the following values in disseminated intravascular coagulopathy disseminated intravascular coagulation? D-dimer, increased fibrinogen, decreased. 118. What laboratory value is useful in differentiating the causes of normocytic anemia? Reticulocyte count. 119. The 2013 AP3 guidelines recommend an LDL lesser than 100 for patients with ASCVD or risk equivalence diabetes, CKD. Patients with cerebrovascular diseases, PAD, coronary artery disease previous MI, angina need an LDL lesser than 100, diabetes are considered to have known CAD for the purpose of lipid goals, thus are high risk.